Hi everyone, it's Maria here with the Court of Grace Transformation Tip of today. I had a request. I love requests and the request was about me talking a little bit more about power phrases, what they are and how I use them. And I realized that there's actually more than one answer to the question, no surprise there, but I'll um, at least answer one of them today. And power phrases are potent, uh, bite-sized pieces of wisdom, phrases of truth and guidance that have really helped me and other people. And I've mentioned a couple so far. One was the entire universe is rooting for you, and the other one was I matter and you matter equally. And so one of the ways that I use power phrases is as a reflection prompt and as a future anchor. And so the example that came through was one uh, power phrase, a, a relatively new one, because they've been coming uh, to me for years now. And it was called, um, it goes, voracious seeking without audacious following can have us going around in circles. Voracious seeking without audacious following can have us going around in circles. And the example that came to me was when I was getting that I really needed a lot more help at home, household help, I kept on getting the answer that it was that I needed to get help with laundry. And I had so much resistance to it that I would go back and say, I need help, I need help. And then I would get the answer, laundry help, and I'd deny it and dismiss it. And then I'd be like, I need help. So I was voraciously seeking help and yet not audaciously following the guidance that was coming. And this happens to many of us where we don't like the answer we get. And so we ignore it, but it can have us getting really stuck or going around in circles. And luckily I had a friend who was being used as a conduit who everywhere she went, there was information about laundry help and she kept on um, giving, passing along the guidance to me until I finally said yes to that. Uh, which is a whole other story. But anyway, for our purposes today, so when that comes in, like that one, voracious seeking without audacious following can have us going around in circles, we can use it as a reflection prompt where we say, okay, where right now am I voraciously seeking but not audaciously following? Where have I in the past been voraciously seeking but not audaciously following? Or it can be a future anchor, which is, that from anything that comes up from this point on, we anchor that bit of wisdom so that we can say, oh, remember about that one power phrase, like how can it apply in this current situation, in this new situation? And to be able to then uh, live in, in a way that's congruent, that's aligned with that piece of wisdom. So I hope that helps. And if you like power phrases and you, you like higher wisdom, there's still time to register for this e-course where I introduce a really life-changing, incredibly powerful, freeing, um, empowering, empowering uh, foundation, framework, paradigm shift, whatever you want to call it. It's called Break the Toxic Shame Cycle, Become Your Best Self, Transform the World because it's so much bigger than just us. And the link is bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash no more shame e-course. And the coupon codes to get the best price is we matter two. We matter two. Have a good day. Bye.